Revelio. It's a level three, isn't it? Yep, level three. Dang it. Hello, Penny. Well, I've done it, Penny. The shop is mine. Oh, Penny is so pleased. Penny was hoping you would be the one to purchase it. I'm glad you're here to help me. Goodness, what a kind thing to say. Penny will do all that she can to make this a success. There is much to do. The last tenant left in a bit of a rush, so we'll need to clean up and do some repairs. Well then, let's get to it. Penny is ready. Between the two of us, we should have this place up and running in no time. Repair all. Oh, Penny can already see the potential. Nothing like a bit of hard work. Mistress Mason wanted Penny to be sure and give you this key. It opens a chest in the back room of this shop. Oh, yes. She mentioned it to me. It contains some of her late husband's belongings. Penny wonders if you should open the chest. <sighs> Are you holding your breath again? <sighs> Penny must get back to work now. Revelio. What lies below? Revelio. That's not creepy at all. That's odd. Why would someone store one hat in here? Revelio. Well, 
That's not very hospitable. Oh, goody! Someone to play with! I sense you're not ruffled by hard work. So determined to guess it would be wonderfully fun! For me, at least. Lumos. That's new. Onwards, I suppose. Ah. What in the... Who's there? Definitely not good. Rebellion. Lumos. Bats. Lovely. Rebellion. Rebellion. Hmm. Seems as if I should hang something there. Levioso. Accio. These lanterns must belong somewhere. Revelio. Is there another one in here? Accio. Perhaps the lanterns are meant to be hung on the hands. Yeah, where's the... Oh, there it is. Wingardium Leviosa. How enlightening! Hmm, you might survive a bit longer than the others. Lumos. You've come so far, so quickly. Well done. You might be just the playmate I've been looking for. I do hope you enjoy my playground. I encourage you to tell everyone about it. If you make it out, that is. Please try. 
If you get to the end, perhaps we can come to some sort of arrangement. I do want your shop to succeed, after all. What's the saying? Two sides to every storm. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, both sides are to my story. And you'll have to complete both to get to the end. Okay then. Ah, you've chosen the scholarly route. You'll need more than you've learned from books to best me. Lumos. Revelio. Where are the lanterns? Lumos. It's always good to have a different perspective on things. Wingardium Leviosa. for me coming down here. Was there a point? Wingardium Leviosa. Perhaps I should pull the lantern into this room to cause the room to rotate again. Wingardium Leviosa. Akio. Wingardium Leviosa. Leviosa. 
next one. I need another. I wonder if I need to place lanterns to open these doors. I know I need to. I need to find it first. Lumos. Wait a minute, this is the start. Oh, deja vu. Lumos. Just going in a circle. Hmm. Running in circles, are we? Perhaps you should retrace your steps. Thank you for the obvious clue. Lumos. Jeez, what was that? Yeah, that's not creepy at all. Lumos. Nope, 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 nope. Lumos. 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 
Lumos. Lumos. Lumos. Lumos. Home sweet toe. Akio. Guardian Leviosa. Huh. I don't need Wigan Weld. Still full health. One down, one to go. Your friend just sucks. I simply adore this blooming place. Don't you? You know, foliage, like most living things, won't survive for long in the darkness. Also because you got a big spider problem. You should call an exterminator.
Wingardium Leviosa. Oh, wizard chess. What's this? A game within a game? Ooh, ooh! Knight to H3. Nighty night! <laughs> Let's see. I see cracks on the floor. Square. Do I just gotta make it across then? Do these even move? I wonder if the chess pieces on the board indicate where I can't go. Ah, so avoid where they can attack you. Got it. That's why they're correct. Deal with the black ones, though. Can find a way to reveal the path. Oh, there's a chest right over there. Looks like it's guarded. Attack you. Can bring us. Revelio. Well, that helps. This is Perhaps a I can find a way to reveal the path. I know what I need to do, okay? I just wasn't sure if I could jump over. <laughs> also, why am I leaving tracks on these? It's not snow. Revelio! That wasn't too difficult. Shut up, Nate. <laughs> I do hope you're having as much fun as me. You sound a little annoyed. I think I'll keep you around a bit longer. Lumos. Leviosa. Uh oh. Let's see, better not get stuck in the wall. 
Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Where to this time? Right back here. Back here. Come with me. Wingardium Leviosa. Come on. We're gonna go on an adventure. By that I mean you're gonna go right here. Confringo. Just. I need to place lanterns to open these doors. Nate, I know what I need to do. I'm just gonna some webbing. Oh, hey guys, nice to see you again. Dang it. Nope, nope, nope. Finger. So a polster, poltergeist. Should. I don't need a seat, but I'm rearranging the furniture. Plus, don't want you getting too comfortable for what's in store, do I? Leviosa. Repairo. Eh, worth a shot. Leviosa. Stay here if I go back. I mean, put it back. Akio. I can't. I just get bugged.
chest. There's Whoa, hello. Go away. That actually startled me. So can I bring this over here? Here. There we go. Doors open. I'm, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Get the thing up. Why did I do that? We got you, Leviosa. Dang it. Okay, I'm focusing too much on my dueling feet. Which is funny because I technically don't really need to anymore. Incendio. Incendio. Okay. Get back here. Get back here, door. Lumos. Scarf. No. no. What did I have over here? Leviosa. Accio. Ingardium Leviosa. Come on, you. Ooh, down into the dungeons, eh?
Just toying with me. I don't like it. Confringo. Good. The webs are still gone. Inordinately clever friend appear to have traversed this seemingly never-ending dungeon relatively unscathed. And now I suppose you want to go. Everyone leaves me, usually in a straitjacket, never to return. I'm starting to take it personally. I'm tired of having no one to play with. Ooh. Ooh. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. If you can match wits with me now, and you agree to give me unfettered access to the shop for, say, one day a month to have a little fun, I'll sign a contract. Pursue it to which, um, uh, let me see, I will blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes, I'll leave you and your customers alone at all other times, etc., etc. You get your shop, I get my chaos. Sound acceptable? Excellent! <laughs> Let the games begin! I need a lawyer to, in order to review that contract. That's just cap, cap, but cap, cap, I mean. Confirm them. Defend them. Possessed by poltergeist trickery, these animated mannequins are relentless in the pursuit of their targets, but are easily destroyed by many spells. A rather violent combination of crates, barrels, and bits of furniture conjured up for fun by Fastidio the Poltergeist. Ringo. 
by seeing things from my point of view. Oh man. Fatigo. Too early. so meticulously crafted. Such a treat to have fun again in my little dungeon. I wouldn't call it fun, really. Wouldn't you? Hmm. To each their own, I suppose. So, about the contract? I am a poltergeist of my word. Just to be clear, what does this agreement entail? Specifically. Ugh, pay attention. You guarantee that I can have my fun at least one day each month without fuss. I let you work the rest of the time, mostly, in peace. Why would you enter into such an agreement? Much as I love banging about the place, it's no comparison to seeing customers' faces when I bonk them on the heads with a chocolate frog. But one doesn't really understand the value of an audience until one is without it. Very well. I shall agree to your contract with one small addendum. Hooray! No more of this unsatisfying banging about all day in a pitiful void. Wait, did you say one small addendum? I did. In order that I have a successful shop with lots of customers, would you agree to causing chaos only after nine o'clock in the evening? Hmm. Hmm. Would you agree to at least two days a month instead of one? I would. Pleasure doing business with you. You've worn me out. Ah, oh, well done. I have a feeling. I have to admit, Cassandra did a wonderful job finding the perfect playmate. Interesting. We now have a poltergeist in our shop. But he only comes out after 9 o'clock two days a month. Of course, that begs the question, what kind of chaos can he perform if the, if the shop's closed then? Or do we just let him roam around Hogsmeade? Hmm. Probably should have thought of that. Or does he just cause chaos in the shop for us after 9 p.m.? Hmm. Hi, Penny. Hello, Penny. Oh, Penny, he's so glad you're back. Were you worried I might not return? Penny was beginning to think yet another shopkeeper was going to end up in St. Mungo's. Another shopkeeper? St. Mungo's? I think you should explain, Penny. <gasps> Penny, please stop holding your breath. Tell me what's going on. <sighs> oh, please forgive Penny. Penny is forbidden from telling you anything. But how can you be forbidden from telling me what's going on? I purchased this shop. I... Penny is confused. Penny thought that if you came back, you would own the shop. Thank you, Penny. 
I think I'm going to need to talk to the authorities. Oh, Penny is certain that's a brilliant idea. Officer Singer will know what to do. Penny will wait right here. Looks like we might have come across some kind of scam in the works. Dang it. Revelio. Officer Singer, I have some information you might be interested in. Ah, good to see you again. What can I do for you? Cassandra Mason sold me her shop and then tried to drive me mad in a haunted dungeon. I... Cassandra Mason sold you her shop. Well, yes, she said she did, but I think you might have missed the bit about the dungeon. No, no, I, I heard that bit too. And, according to the house elf that came with the shop, she has done this sort of thing before, repeatedly. Hmm. I wondered what was going on. She seems to have had a great deal of trouble keeping a tenant in that shop. In any event, these are serious accusations indeed. Perhaps a little visit with Cassandra is in order to clear this all up. Shall we? Centaurs have never had... Sandra, you got some explaining to do. Knock, knock. Oh, hello, Ruth. I see you've met my new tenant. Cassandra, it's my understanding that you sold your shop and your elf to this student. Now, they've been telling me some very interesting stories about your business practices. Perhaps you should come with me. <laughs> uh, 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 stop her! Uh, Are they teaching you at that school? Be good for you. with a wild stoop. Good for you. Hang on. I'm disappointed in you, Cassandra. Incarcerate! You don't know what you're doing! <sighs> don't I? I always wondered why you couldn't seem to keep a tenant in that shop of yours. I must admit, the notion of a haunted dungeon never crossed my mind. Thanks for this. You can head back to the shop. Second that house elf of yours, she's probably terrified. Spoony little break of myself! I should have known it was you! Silencio. Oh, 
and not to worry. Cassandra will immediately file the paperwork needed to grant you ownership of both the shop and the elf. On her way to Azkaban. Thank you, Officer Singer. Best of luck to you as the newest shop owner in Hogsmeade. Is that okay? I'm only a 15 year old. Revelio. Dang it. Penny. Penny, I have what I hope will be good news. Officer Singer confirmed that ownership of the shop has now transferred to me. Oh, well, that is good news. Penny is so relieved. Penny had the most difficult time keeping the truth from you. Penny promises to work as hard as she can for such a kind new owner. Penny, I found an item of clothing in the dungeon that I'd like to give you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Penny never thought she would be given clothing and become a free elf. It's my pleasure. You deserve it. Of course, Penny will be staying on and managing the shop for you. Penny, you're free. You can do anything you've ever wanted to. But... All Penny has ever wanted to do is run a shop with a friend and sell to the villagers in Hogsmeade. If that's what you want to do, Penny, then nothing would make me happier. I'm genuinely glad you'll be staying on. Penny is too. All that's left is for you to choose a sign for your new shop and Penny will take care of the rest. Vesters and Venom, Cladwell and Brewster, Stitches and Draughts. Hmm. Let's go with stitches and draughts. I choose stitches and draughts. Excellent choice. Have a look outside. Thank you. I shall work on collecting items for the shop's inventory. Oh, and Penny, we'll be closing the shop by nine o'clock every night. Shopkeeper's coat, shopkeeper's hat, shopkeeper's ensemble. Okay, this I gotta see. Stylish coat for the well-dressed shopkeeper. A Wellington top hat and eccentric fabric to complete the shopkeeper's ensemble. An attractive ensemble of tan and deep teal with panache and charm. Perfect for the stylish shopkeeper. Let's see what it looks like. Actually does look pretty nice. Let's 
sell. Oh, Penny will fetch a good price for what you'd like to sell. But I can't sell ingredients. Penny wishes you safe and wondrous travels. So what exactly is the point of this if I can just sell it to other places? Welcome to Stitches and Drops. My name is Nate Marston. 